Okay, so a lot of people have been asking for the name on an ornament, and this is actually a file that I did um, for the last laser session that I went through the whole process. So I've already gone through and set up the file, and I'll explain the steps because before it was kind of a lengthy process, and um, I don't want to take up too much time. So we have our circles for our ornament, we have our circles for our hanger, and we have our name. Um, one of the things that I did with the name that not everyone might know how to do is when you have text that you want to um, use an effect on, then you can come up and go to warp and get a nice little shape to it. So this obviously is a bit too much. Um, let's actually pull that down some and you can see that it gives you a rounder shape than the straight. So there's zero. And it just makes it a little bit a little bit nicer when you're doing something in with a round shape there. So I'm not gonna worry about that right now. But right now what we have is the two circles, and this is something that people don't think about doing right away, is you take your two circles and you minus front. And what that essentially does is now it's said that this p this smaller circle is a window in that bigger circle. And that's important because then that's how we're going to combine everything else. So for example, now we take this and that and we say, okay, this circle now wants to be part of that. We unite. And there you go. So when you have the name, I've already gone in and done some prep here. But uh, one of the things that I like to do is I like to make score lines. So if I'm doing a wooden ornament, this carries the letter through in a solid piece, and it's not a layered thing. So right now, you take your outline of the name, and you select your frame, and wait, first of all, <laughs> you take your outline of the name and you copy, and then you select your frame and you unite. Now you can see that's taken those lines away. But now you paste in front, which is Control F, and you get your lines back. The key thing here is that we only want the lines in the spot where they're on the ring. So I've already added in some anchor points. So you can see there's a point here and a point here where it intersects. So the white arrow, the A tool, it allows you to select either a path or anchors. So what you can do is you select the path and you delete. Come over here select the path and delete. And remember, it's smart to click off because sometimes it'll select the whole thing and you don't want that. So now here, you select the path and you delete, delete, because then that way you don't want the rest of that. So now I've done the same thing. There's an anchor point there. And we're going to clean out. Oh, I guess there was a second anchor. We're going to clean out all of these lines. And you do it the same on the inside too, because you don't want that double line on the green. So we come out here, we break these, come over here, we break these. Oops. I need to add an anchor on there. So the add anchor tool is right here. And you just go to the path and you see where it intersects and it even tells you, you add an anchor. Switch back to the A key delete. Come down here, delete. Okay, so it's not perfect right now, but this is good enough for, uh, for showing you the technique. And then you can see that we've gotten rid of the rest of the name. And I'm not going to go ahead and do the rest of this because by now you get the idea. So the green then is something that you're going to set to um, be your score line in the UI. And then obviously um, everyone has their colors that they use. I usually prefer doing um, a red for a cut line and then kind of keep it consistent in my files. And uh, you can add any ornaments you want to this. So for example, here I added a snowflake and I did exactly the same thing. You bring your snowflake in, you unite it to the frame, and then you paste in front and you use the pieces that you want to do your score line on the front. I hope this was helpful. Thanks guys.